all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drops you go be the first we'll collect them information dropping on my table right now uh this information did too appalling as um nig army don't confirm say uh, they are having one of the founders of IPOB, uh, one of the commanders in IPOB group, the Eastern Security Network wing of the IPOB. The Nigerian Army has reportedly uh, opened up that they are having one of the commanders in their custodies. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. Troops of the Nigerian military attached to Operation Udoka in southeast zone of the country have reportedly arrested a founding father of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. The troops also arrested at least three notorious leaders of IPOB ESN during raids on the group side out in Oso Imo State, Amaku, Amarako, and Arochuku in Abia State. Edward Baba the director of defense media operation who disclosed these at defense headquarters abuja on thursday stated that the troops also neutralized 24 terrorists and arrested two violent extremists Uba, a major general revealed that the soldiers rescued one kidnapped hostage adding that arrested suspects have been handed over to the appropriate authorities for necessary actions to be taken he explained that the raids were carried out in furtherance of the fight to rid the nation of insecurity and take out commanders and leaders of gangs as well as their foot soldiers. Troops at Forward Operation Base also conducted a sting operation that culminated in the arrest of an IPOB leader. The arrested leader identifies as Pius Igu is a founding father in the ESN group in Osu, general area of Imo State. Similarly, troops at FOB Amarak conducted a raid that resulted in the arrest of another IPOB leader and commander identified as Emmanuel Omogo. He was arrested in Mbana, local government area of Abia State. Related with troops and security forces in a combined sting operation arrested a notorious cult leader named Ivan Rock. He was arrested with them of his combatant, combatant in Arochuku in Abia State, he disclosed. The senior military officer noted that the adversaries engaged the troops in a gun duel during a raid, but they were finally overpowered and suppressed with superior fighting equipment. He added, Troops of Operation Udo can neutralize 24 men, arrest, arrested 12 violent extremists, and rescued one kidnapped hostage. Troops re recovered 10 AK 47 rifle, 15 pump action guns, 4 locally fabric fabricated guns, 153 rounds of 7.62M special ammo, 111 life cartridge, 2 vehicles, and 4 mobile phones, among other items. All recovered items. Arrested, suspect, and rescued hostages were handed over to the relevant authorities for further action. Between 15 and 18 of, the, of the October 2024, troops in separate offensive operation made contact with the IPOB ESN in Oso and Oburu, Obubra, local government area of Imo State, River State, respectively. Troops also made contact with IPOB ESN in Arochuku local government of Abia State following the firefight troop neutralized 24 men and rescued one kidnapped hostage. Alright, wonderful people, welcome back. This is how it is happening right now in the land of the indigenous people of Biafra. Of course, the report you just had now is coming from the Nigeria medically who are giving reports on how they have been able to neutralize a lot of members of the IPOB uh, and the Eastern Security Security Network. And um, uh, if you can see what is actually happening, um, the NIG Army are always giving uh, information on their own part on how victorious they have been and on the part of the Biafra Army, Biafra Liberation Soldiers, they are also giving information on their own path of victory. Of course, you know that this is 
what is all about. As see the B, uh, there has been a major chaos breakout as police, civil defense officers clash, uh, Nigerian police and civil defense officer uh, that sister security network have clashed uh, face to face. Has clashed face to face, and um, I'm wondering why should there be a clash uh, between the Nigerian police and the civil defense? Of course, both of them are doing the same work. Their utmost interest uh, is to protect the lives of the citizens. But as it be, uh, it looks as if something ego and other things is taking over. Uh, the activities of their operation. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. Men of the Nigerian Police Force and op operatives of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps NS NSCDC have clashed in Osun State. Adeleke Kainde, the spokesperson of the Osun NSCDC command in a statement on Friday revealed that the problem started on Tuesday, October 22, 2024 at about 8 p.m when a group of individuals in Ankara clothes with only jacket on top claimed to be police officers drove recklessly into Elizabeth Estate with a private Toyota Sienna vehicle. She added that they entered the estate, which is secured by the personnel of the NSCDC of Sun State Command to purportedly arrest a suspect. The statement reads, the disturbing incident of barbaric police brutality occurred on Tuesday, October 22, 2024, around 8 p.m. at Elizabeth Estate in Osobo, Osun State, when a group of individuals claiming to be police officers in Ankara, clothed with only ja jackets on top, drove recklessly into the estate with a private Siena vehicle, entered the estate, which is secured by the personnel of Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Osun State Command, to purportedly arrest a suspect. The personnel of the NCDC on duty as trained officers requested for means of identification, which the individuals who claimed to be police failed to provide. Instead, they resorted to intimidation. After their failure to identify themselves, they left the premises of the estate. The situation escalated the following day, Wednesday, October 23, 2024, when a group of police numbering about 20 drove into the estate and descended on one NSCD personnel physically assaulting him and inflicting grievous bodily harm on him. The video of the incident is attached to the statement. The officer's uniform was torn, he was brutalized beyond description, disarmed, handcuffed like a common criminal and forcefully taken to Atoja Division before being moved to police state headquarters. Effort to resolve the issue amicably were made by the commandant of the NSCDC Osun State, Dr. Mike Adarawewa, who raised a team of senior officers who visited the police headquarters. However, the police refused to release the detained NSCDC leader. What well, I don't see, I see they happen for the Obodo, um, uh, the country where we find ourselves. Nobody loves nobody. Uh, for uh, the Nigerian police, uh, to be descending on the member of the sister security, uh, Nigeria Civil Defense Corp, uh, because he requested for a means of identification uh, from police personnel who invaded a state where he is the man in charge, uh, was brutalized the next day. I think, I, think, I think that this is the height of the matter uh, because uh, for me, I believe that these uh, two sister security are supposed to be working hand in hand with each other in providing information for one another. But as it is, because of greediness, intimidation, and showing of power, of course, what I will un I understand I understood there is that the the Nigerian police is trying to show off uh, that they are bigger than the N NCDC. Uh, they are trying just to show force and show of power, but at least they should have shown a means of identification uh, because they were not on their uniform, they were only on jacket on Ankara and their bulletproof jacket on top. And the policeman, the NCDC man, there requested for a means of identification in order to be sure truly that these people uh, are members of the Nigerian police. 
But on the next day, he was seriously brutalized, which is very, very wrong. Uh, thank you for listening. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, I kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first local. And thank you for listening. God bless you.